but they believed that he had a right to say what he wanted to say, and if you're going to go against him, then we're going to stand up and we're going to go to Chick-fil-A and let you know that we are standing with him. Is it a, um, today when, when you um, tweeted, just kind of talk about the feedback that you received from people who saw your tweets and Facebook pictures. I had to rush to get here because I was tweeting <laughs> as I was coming. It's been amazing because people are really responding as it relates to their support. And I'm talking about the followers that we have. And I wanted to get the message out there. All we're trying to do is show people that we have a right as Christians to speak. I just don't want America to become a communist country where we can't say what God says anymore. I couldn't be in the fight. Uh, I was too young to be in the fight when they took prayer out of the school. Uh, and I, I was, I'd love to say, why isn't the church doing more? But I'm in this fight. I'm in this fight because this is a real fight to stand up for something that we believe in. And so we just want Christians to know we're not going to sit in the back of the bus. They trying to make Christians sit in the back of the bus. Y'all keep quiet. No, no, no. We, we sitting in the front. We rose the parks, and we came out from all over the country today to show people what we believe in. All right. What do you, at the end of the day, what do you hope comes from all of this? I'm hoping that people will begin to appreciate whatever people say. I, you know. Somebody could announce on television, you know, I'm, I'm, I believe in same-sex marriage. It doesn't mean if it's, if it's at Kentucky Fried Chicken that I'm not going to go to Kentucky Fried Chicken. That's what you believe. That's what you believe. That's not going to, oh, no, he believes in same-sex marriage, so I'm not going to that restaurant. That's the same kind of respect we want. We talk about division. It's not a division when you begin to respect each other. I believe what I believe. I preach what I preach so I can get people to believe what the Bible says, but I can't force people, nor do I go against people as it relates to what they believe. When I get on the airplane, I don't, I don't get on the airplane and say, are you homosexual? You know, fly the plane. That's what your job is as it relates to taking me to where you need to go. So what I want to come out of you. Out of this, people think it's division, but it should be more of unity, first of all, to respect one another. We've got to respect a man that says, I believe in the biblical definition of marriage, and he should not be knocked against it, because if it happens to him, it's going to happen to more of us. And more people who have authority, like mayors uh, in Chicago, are going to say, uh, look, we don't want you to build here. We, we won't give you a permit here. And that is not right. Mm -hmm. I have to say that uh, talking to you is interesting because I, I, I expected more of a, you know, uh, for it to be more about the same-sex issue versus traditional marriage issue versus, you know, instead of the right to say what you believe. And I think that that's the problem. I'm not a, a same-sex marriage basher. And that's the category that people want to put us in. You know, that's all my sermon. Same-sex, same. No, no. There's adultery. There's fornication. There's hate. There's liars. There's so many areas. I'm dealing with sin. And what I believe is sin, and the Bible gives us, it lets us know what sin is, it's just coming short of the glory of God. And God is not pleased with something. So my job, if I'm going to have a job and I say that I am called by God, I've got to preach against whatever sin is. No, I don't believe in same-sex marriage, but I'm, that's not my only focus. Today, that was not my only focus. My focus today was you can't tell Christians that we can't say, and we have a family business that we, we can't say that we believe in family values. We got a right to say what we want to say. Last question, and I'm just curious. If it was, <laughs> if it was, you mentioned the Kentucky Fried Chicken thing, if somebody who works for Kentucky Fried Chicken or the head of Kentucky Fried Chicken said, you know what, I'm in support of same-sex marriage. I'm going to, you know, vo voice my support in, in that. And uh, the same thing were happening in reverse. Would you look at that situation and say, you know what, he has a right to say what he wants to say. You all should support him? I would simply say he's got a right to say what he wants to say. I don't have to say you got to go and support him. You have to go and support him. But, I, you know, I'm not going to get up and say, don't y'all go to that restaurant because he came out for same-sex marriage. No, I don't believe that. I think that 
he does what he wants to do or she wants to do what she wants to do in that area. And I pray that God will speak to anybody in that area. But I'm not striking and going against people or protesting because somebody believes in something. It has to be the conviction of the heart. And so I'm not here to fight in flesh and blood. This is spiritual warfare to me. All right. Do you want to add anything else that I didn't touch on? I think I got everything. You, you, you got everything. I got everything. 